right guys this is the fine fine microphone it's my new microphone i haven't been able to do any videos because me mic decided to get really quiet then not to work and i've already got greasy fingerprints over it um so inside the box you don't get a lot of stuff all you get is instruction manual which you don't really need because it's plug-in and play and it's USB. It does tell you how to do it, but you don't really need to do anything about it. You get the mic and you get a tripod stand as well. And it's, it's quite well packaged, but I've already taken it out and connected it to my desk. But the sound quality for 25 quid is absolutely unreal. And it doesn't say anything else on the box, all you've got is serial number and nothing else. But it's quite well packaged. So I'll show you the mic now. So this is the Fifine. It has um, a volume button there. Where you can turn up the gain and turn it down. And it does tilt forward backwards and you can rotate it left and right comes with this nice little tripod stand you know a lot of people say that you know um, underneath it's wired that people don't like so you can't disconnect it but then you know I, I find that you know as long as you don't abuse it it's gonna tear on for quite a while even though the Solocast HyperX, which was my old one, only lasted two years and I don't abuse anything. And it just decided to get low and then decided not to work at all. So that's why I replaced it with this one. But for 25 quid, it actually sounds better than the Solocast. So it's all all metal design it feels really nice it doesn't feel cheap and plasticky everything is just metal and you know i do miss the there was a function on the hyperx where you just tap it on top like that and you can turn it on and off but as long as you've got you know the volume control there it's not too bad so when you listen to the actual quality of me videos now you if you listen to the ones before you will notice the difference and yeah i've got all my bottles because i've been back in hospital today because i had cataract surgery last week and now i've got eye infection so I'm supposed to stay away from bright lights and up the dose of six times a day and oh it's just a pain in the ass but there you go that's those days for you so I'm going to do a bit of gameplay on a game I've been waiting for for a while and I can't remember what it's called now um, but it's like a horror game it's taken from a TV series called The Rig which I, I didn't realise so I started watching The Rig this morning watched three episodes and it's really good so it's set on an oil rig and you drill into a mass underneath which um, turns out to be like um, an alien type mass where it can control bodies, a bit like the, the thing if anyone's ever seen that but I'll do some gameplay on that in a minute and you will notice 100% the actual difference in quality so I'll go over to that in a moment, cheers guys Right guys, so this is the actual audio quality for the mic um, I'm going to do some gameplay of Still Wakes the Deep. It's, um, what no one has actually said. Um, it's based on what I can gather, and it's extremely close to it, is a TV series called The Rig, which is based in Scotland, about an oil rig that they're um, drilling for oil, and they hit a pocket of what they think is gas but a lot of um, supernatural stuff starts happening and one of the crew members is injured and he can see a glimpse of um, whatever this entity is trying to explain to you why you're killing them 
and it's very good um, TV series. I don't watch a lot of British TV series because they haven't got the same quality as a lot of the American ones. Probably because they haven't got the budget, but this is actually really good. Um, it's got quite a few um, good actors in it. And to be honest, there's no crap actors. So this is a series, guys. It's called The Rig, if you want to check it out. I'm not allowed to show you links of where to get it. But this game... It's from the Chinese room development team. They've done a few stuff. One of the best ones, which I like, it's just really an exploration and story-driven game. It's called... Um, oh, bollocks. And now I forgot what it's called. Um, everybody's gone to the rapture. But tells the story of your life. You think you're the last person remaining on Earth and everyone else seems to have disappeared. And it's that's, that's a really old game now, but it's really good, beautiful English countryside graphics. You might not be able to understand some of the dialogue in this because it's Scottish. And it's like... I hate it when you have phone calls and it, you know, <laughs> I'm not racist whatsoever, but if I can't understand a person, whether it, they're Asian, American, Scottish, Welsh, I can't understand half them buggers half the time. I think, well, why the hell do they put them on the phone if you can't understand the word they're saying? But then, probably a lot of people out there think I've got um, a deep Devonshire accent. So I'll go into the options first. This uses Unreal Engine 5.32. Show hints, yeah. Oh. Show hints, yeah. Game mode standard. I watched a, a, a gameplay video on it yesterday, actually, for... I normally watch gameplay videos and I you know, skip through them and that, but this one is really good and actually, um, oh, that's just for the other thingy. Um, you're lucky it's got subtitles anyway. That's got closed captions as well. I, I get lost anywhere, so that's why I put that one on. I'm going to turn down that a bit, because I'm not a keen fan. Right, video, I've got a 4K, motion blur, film grain, all the crappy ones off. Frame generations on. You know, the only thing they haven't got is um, where you can turn off lumen and stuff. It's probably all built into the post, post, post processing. I couldn't find the iron eye fire earlier just to have a look at it. I'm not overly keen on music in games unless it's really good upbeat music that suits the game. I'm playing with keyboard at the moment, and look, I don't know what the control is going to be like, but here we go, guys, and, and uh, you know, th this is the quality of the mic, and for 25 quid, it's just bloody brilliant. Still can't believe you went. What are you thinking? Going to that place. Wish you hadn't got yourself into this mess, but you did. You can't run forever. 
I know you're just trying to do right by me, so I need you to do what's right by us. Now, please, Cass. I am so tired of fighting. I just want it to be over. I want you home, the girls want you home, but... If you don't deal with this, then we are done for good. I love you. I won't wait forever. Jesus. Jesus. I always need you a Christmas <coughs> I'll be there in a minute, Todd. Aye. Aye. All right. Oh. I've only got HDR on at the moment. I think adaptive sharpening is going to be too much. Yeah. Ooh. To be honest, when it first started, there was a lot of there was a lot to find and do and look at and stuff. But it got more into the action after about forty minutes. It took quite a while. Right, quite right. I'm not getting I'm getting 67 frames per second but that's with frame generation on as well If it's not one thing, it's the other. See this old rig? It's a pile of shite. It's falling apart. I've only just started drilling. Fucking Cadal. And fucking Rennick. Cutting corners. Aye. Speaking of, you are in the shite, man. Rennick got a letter this morning from the mainland and he's been up to high dough ever since. You think he's gunning for you? That's just brilliant. He still need a smoke. Well, yeah, anyway. Take mine. I don't need it anymore. Honestly. You're a fucking goose. I'm going to get breakfast. Alright. See you for that tonight. We'll put a wee picture of any cup on the board for you. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. See ya. You know, ray trace reflections on that. Oh look at Blake Zaris! <laughs> Does this surprise me? Perfect. <laughs> Hmm? 
Right. Let's go back. Oh, walking in the door, map. I'd go back to bloody hospital today because I got an eye infection in me cataracts. You know, they say like one in a thousand people get it, and yeah, it had to be me, didn't it? You know, I used to be quite good at darts, just playing press division. One, one point my average was 88. This place will be even more of a death trap than it already is. He's got a point though, Gibble. Down to a scalp and crew in the pontoons and it's ropey as fuck down there. Workers of the world unite! What do you think, guys? I don't know. Just here to fix the leg, eh? What do you think will be keeping the lights on if this place falls apart? That's cool and numpty. May I hear the stories? How are you doing, boys? No bad, no Cass. Raph's here's a bit shaky, though. though. Gonna be the lads' first solo dive this morning. Is that right? Ah, you'll be all right, pal. Especially with the big, the big man, man here looking, looking out for you. you. Have you done have it before? Christ, no. I'll, I'll stick to the lecky, thanks. thanks. No great in tight spaces, and it's blowing a gale out there. Really filling the lad with confidence there. Sorry, wee man. Don't worry about it. Enjoying your last day, McCleary. What's that supposed to mean? You've been a naughty boy. So even on the TV series, it follows the story really well. Well, you're not going to miss it. You wouldn't know a day's graft of this in the face. A bit of smearing on the graphics. You would know a spark plug from a fucking hair dryer. Watch your mouth, I'm clearly. You are right, Roy? Cars, me old mucker. How do? Me old mucker. She's talking about divorce. Oh, I'm sorry, Cass. She'll come around. No, if I get to jail, she will. Maybe you could have considered that. Ah, you were battering Billy Chamberlain's head in. Cunt slagged off Susie, had it coming. And there he is. Floats like a butterfly, stings like a bee, and swears like the devil himself. Listen, mate. I didn't realise that I'd say much swearing. I don't even use that word. Well, very cagey and Call of Duty. And I'm pretty sure Sue's does too. Stop here for you now, Roy. Lovely job, thanks, Dobby. Oh, try to save you your insulin in your cabin. Oh, bless his little communist socks. Much they appreciate it. Remember, life is like football. It's not over until the final whistle. Aye. 
Europe, you're up at arm's length, fine, so you're pretty much fucked from the off, right? Oh, I will see you hand for that, McCleary. Off you trot, lad. Before his nibs blows a gasket. Get outside onto the deck. I might actually put on V Sync. Oh, no. It might limit some of the. Um... Actually, I haven't seen V Sync yet. Some of the screen tearing. <laughs> Well, I'm not getting more frames per second now. You know, DLSS is getting better all the time. No, yeah, frame generation, I mean. Is it just like... I can't, you know, I can't feel the input lag like that's supposed to come with it. Oh yeah, a bit of safety, look. It's cold out there. We'll be in the middle of bloody Scotland. Yeah. Got a date to Relic's office. Oh, right. Behind schedule, then. Oh, no, yes. 
Not if the gods are smiling on us. So mere fuck than ever. Who's fucked is you by the sounds of it? You better get up there. The boss man sounds raging. How's your fuse box, Jim? Give me any links to where the cable goes. maybe why would you ever allow it to do a dead end <laughs> that's blocked so it has to be this way somewhere that's like going totally bloody blind Right around there. No, I can't get in there either. No, it must be around here somewhere. <laughs> I must be just getting blind. But I, my bloody eyes are killing me anyway, so there you go. I can't get through there. Ah. Right in front of me. Press an E to open stuff when I right, must be the boss's cabin then. Go get a bollocking. So 
glad you could join me. I'm sorry that I got you out of bed. Shut the door and have a seat. I'm fine, Stan. Sit down there, sit that chair, you fucking liability. But I don't have a tight ship. Do you understand me? A tight ship. I think when I was watching the video earlier, um, they must have cut that lot out. Two, two bars, bars and a ball bag. Now listen, I promise, I promise I'll take care of him. I had a word with our carer, remember, remember him? him? You know, he's going to change him from way back. He owes me a favour. Reckon he can sweeten Billy up a bit. Come on. Have I ever let you down? Roy, you lost the cake at the wedding. Now then, now then. That wasn't my fault. You left it on a bench at our guys. Aye, well that blue turned you then didn't remember making the cut. My children, that was before the light of the Lord came to me. Here we fucking go. And you, Mr. McCleary, you can fuss and cuss all you like. But perhaps if you went to the Saracens a little less, and the tabernacle a little more, then perhaps you'd not be in this people. Hey. Don't look at me. You're the one who decided to spend the next four months trapped in our regulars at Bamport. Susan, I promise you, I promise you, we will get this straight now. I will. You bet it.
<laughs> Keep pressing bloody E. The lines are a bit 30 frames per second. smart shop because it is not as sharp as I'd like but clarity too or oh, as sharper lost a few frames per second not that much though Where I just nothing in here, is it? Oh, it's quite good, simulated quite well. No, it can't be this way. Hmm. 
<laughs> Don't really tell you a lot, does it? Can you get this open? I got to do it, got a jack sent. I'm not going that way then. Obviously got global illumination in that. <laughs> That's quite fucking hell. Just get you across. Fuck it out. It's mental, isn't it? Thank you. 
้างอ่ m a k i n g a get big clanking sound. It's quite good. I don't know where the water ripples actually. You know, I don't get scared by it. it's like you know I watch um quite a lot of um like slapped ham videos and that but he's gone a bit downhill lately. Some of the stuff he shows is like nah, that's not right. That's pretty crap. <laughs> if it was that easy, which every Normally everyone you do is a bit um rusted in especially using a flathead and you round off the head and you can't get a Let me in. Thanks. I don't really need it in there, I think.
Mm. Well, that made me jump in the bad way. <laughs> No, no, oh. no way through. Ah. I notice a lot of things are um, marked yellow that you can climb over. It looks like. I'm really impressed with the actual ripple effects and that. It does actually for change look like a liquid substance. Don't think you need it in there. Ah, maybe. Run for it.
No, you don't. Get away! <laughs> I mean, he died. This is as bad as my eyes on the screen. I think the oil effects are really good. Ooh, ooh, what's up there? Then? I can't go anywhere that way anyway. I did watch this bit on the video actually, so I don't need to do that one. Sounds good. Remember the old gas fires, if they'd actually like that easy, they'd be awesome. <coughs> but it was a bastard in the light, it used to take you ages, didn't it? Should I turn it off and save the gas? Ah, can't. It's a bit silly really if you've got a fire there and you've got all these um, bottles. Even if the fire extinguisher is a bit heated up, they'd still explode. Is there anyone, anyone here? here? Hello? Hello? If there's anybody here, here, fucking, fucking say, say something. something. Am I clear here? here. You have to go through accommodation, it's all blocked. Do you hear me? O'Connor! Yeah. 
Hey, can he can he open it? Kick it down. It's like it's like it coming inside at some point, isn't it? Water effects are really good. I could actually go to sleep listening to that. I only sleep about four or five hours a day. It does me nothing. Hello? Hello? Anyone here? Hey, Bomb. I think. I don't know, it's, it's this thing. I think it's doing something to people. I don't know what to believe, you know what I mean? I don't know what to do. I saw something on the deck. I didn't stay to look at the shit out of me. I should work at the door. I can't hide, Roy. We have to get off this rig right the fuck now. What, without our Rennick say so? Roy, did you hear Rennick? What, you think we're getting evacuated? He'd want everybody back at work if we were at the bottom of the north fucking sea. The lifeboat's in there? Aye. You stay. Barricade the door. Let me clear a path, and once we're ready to go, I'll come and get you, right? I'll be here, don't worry. Get some extra prayers <laughs> We're gonna need them. Come on. You won't leave me. I will, you haven't got a chance to get off, mate. I'm not leaving you, but I wouldn't blame you if you did it, mate. You've got all the in here for a start. Listen, get your man upstairs on the case, and I'll see you soon, mate. You know, this is one sweet, isn't it? I have no issues whatsoever. And it's like, and so I've got no frame pacing issues, no lag, and the responsiveness for frame generation is like a second to none. Let's go outside. It's too dangerous, dangerous out there. <laughs> This is it doing that. Ah, stuck fast. Um,
Sí. I, I got full artistic through glass. Maybe, I don't know. immovable you walk over them so it's not that interactive I like corn beef I do but not that much can you pick it back up again oh yeah I'm just wondering if you can break the light or not Depends if we get it here, I suppose. Hello? Anybody in here? <laughs> oh, 
Well, I can get through there. Come under there. Went through round here. Oh, the fuck. I can't get through here. Why can't I get through here then? Anything else up here? I'll go back through where I come. Must have gone the wrong way or something. Because it pointed me in this direction and come out, didn't it? So I had to go through there. They won't let me through there. They won't let me through there. She don't like that. Whoa. Oh, we can spam. Steven. Oh, fuck! <laughs> 
Go. Okay, now. Move safety pin on cradle, engage brake levers, swing boat into forward position. I was looking to see if it actually dropped on the floor, but like most games, debris in that always disappears, and the pins did as well. No! Well, that's bound to happen, wasn't it? down there. No. I can't believe that's one more open. No chance. Renick! It's me, guys. It's gone. It's just it's fell gone. off into the fucking sea. Oh, fuck off, Renick. You built this fucking thing, not me. Uh, Roy's in the canteen. Finley and Brody are alive. I can't get back out. There's a There's safety, safety door, door, the railings are all gone. For God's sake, do I have to tell you how to do it? Get the door and tie the kick at the bottom. I don't open right enough. What about you? Just concentrate on getting to the pad, don't worry about me. See, Renick? Well, well, does this mean we're okay, like? Well, they hard feelings. Get it, fuck my clarity. When you get back, fuck off again. As it happens, you see you drown, but I'm not having your chest on my fucking record. Oh, you sell me. <laughs> you know, it's a lot of swearing in this game, but then, you know, pretty much just through life, you know, we'd be in that situation, you would, I'd swear like fuck as well. Quite like, oh, that hurts me eyes. Shit.
Where did that come from? Again, here we go. I know I got it running my SSD, but it didn't take long to load. You know, it's quite, um, the way things move in that, uh, they feel, almost feel like there's some weight to them, like when you pull it off. Christ, there is no Christ. me underwear Still making me hold it, that's a bit of a weird one. I can, but I just don't like doing it.
Oh shit. I went the wrong way. I am. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was close. So much room barricading. Okay. Roy. 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 He's blocked the door. The freezer there. You think you'd be bloody starving by now, wouldn't you? That was a good, easy one. for the floor then. I think that was deep for now. Guys, hope you enjoyed it anyway. It's quite a good game. Uh, you know, and for an Unreal Engine 5 game, it actually runs just smooth. It's actually quite good. You know, most of them are glitchy, jumpy, laggy. But this one's working pretty well. Well, there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers. <laughs>